tell me, why is it important for Balada and Traditional Home to continue to host this event? I was looking for ways to celebrate other things going on in the kitchen. You know, we're very proud of our cabinetry, but there's so much more to the story. And I wanted to try to sort of network the, the whole kitchen story. And I thought, what better way but to celebrate during the tabletop week in New York to bring in that part of our industry. And it, it's just been wonderful. Well, there's one thing that we know about our readers, and that's that they love to entertain. They love to entertain in their kitchen. They love to entertain in their dining room. So it's a wonderful partnership. It's something our readers are interested in. We want to give them more of it. We know that people are staying home more and are sort of nesting, especially with the holidays coming up. So it's important for us to sort of brand together and show the magic of entertaining. Tell us a little bit about your space and where did you begin? Well, I love the clean, white, kind of blank slate of this design, so, which let me do pretty much whatever I wanted. And I also like the idea of this wonderful stainless counter behind me being the table. And I had to find a reason to have a kitchen counter be the dining table. And I'd heard this thing about sitting is the new smoking, and that we sit too much, so that's my conceit on how this all worked. And then I love the idea of the bar being on this wonderful piece of glass over here. Now, how did you go about picking your china? Did the architecture of the space inform that decision or vice versa? Very much so because this, again, is it's all white china and then I wanted a little bit of the crystals in there, a little bling, and, uh, but mostly I just like the pure white china and the color and everything comes in from the accessories and the art and the rug and the, you know, the runner on the table, which is a piece of uh, Mazandaran carpet from Nazari, so I, I really loved it. Talk a little bit about the china you selected, how you mixed and matched it. Oh, we actually chose um, we chose an ostrich pattern and mixed it with a floral because we wanted we want to bring in a lot of natural elements. And how did you mix in the tartan and the plaid? I feel like that's such a strong element in your room, and somehow all of these three very different things work together. Uh, well, we started with this uh, tartan runner, and then we layered in, we actually lined the back of the shelves there, and we brought some furnishings in with the tartan plaid as well, and it sort of speaks to that refined rusticity that we were looking for in the contemporary setting. Now, let's talk a little bit about how you entertain at home. What does your dining room look like at home, and how do you entertain? Typically, I entertain in the summer outside, um, and I like to pull in a lot of organic elements as well, like we did here. Flowers for starters, um, the magnolia leaves that we love, we have the moss, and anything really that I find in the backyard, honestly, ends up on my table. Oh, I love that. And Jen, how about you? How do you entertain at home and give us some of your top tips? Well, what I, I do host Thanksgiving at my house. It's a very big group of people. And I usually focus so much on the food that my tablescape sort of comes together really organically. I pull stuff from everywhere. I make the best with what I can find. And then it usually ends up, it's always different. And it's always fun and pretty. It's been an inspiring evening here at the Art of the Table event at Bolotta Kitchens. We've gotten so many neat tips from a great group of designers. I'm Tori Malott. Thanks for watching Editor TV.